Hi guys, this is the Basic Gamer once again, and I hope you guys are doing well and having a splendid time playing this amazing game. I tell ya, I just can't stop stumbling upon things that just didn't know about, and it always surprises me, and that is the beauty of the game. Anyway, in this one, I'm going to show you the location for the Crystallian Ashes, and to be able to get there, first step, Church of Ely, Gatefront Ruins, da 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 da, make your way. Warmaster Shack, then cross this bridge, and then cross this place. You see the funny guy in the boat, and then you reach Kaled. Once you're in Kaled, you're gonna make a little jump from this place because this is a big canyon. So you, you come from here, touch the side of grace, down the slope, Fort Ferret. Then you see the m place where I am right now. That's um, Fort Ferret is right up there. So this is where I am. So you come from here. And you just take a jump down, use that jump spring to come down, and then we'll be going to this place, which is where the Celia hideaway is. It is a hidden cave, which is another amazing find. And look at that. Boom. So, we're just making our way through to get our Crystallian ashes. It's those goo 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 you know, those Egyptian looking, um, what do you call them? Sphinx looking big crystal guys who are just a pain. So you can have one of those guys on your side and thrash enemies. All right, so out of my worry, keep going. I'm not using a torch, but I would advise that you guys do that. Okay, so another hidden door. Now, how would somebody ever find this stuff? Just exploring, 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 keep going, keep going. Okay, just remember, just be a little bit, little bit um, focused on this part because you might just quickly skip through the video and say, oh, I, I know what I'm gonna do, and then you're gonna come here and then you'll have to re watch the video. Just keep your eyes open and a little bit focused in this part so that you don't have to keep watching the video over and over again. And now we're almost there, guys. Almost there. Staying in there. Mm, I would have shown you what these ashes do, but you can check it out for yourself. Okay, so see. This is quite similar to the first place we came to, so this time we're just going towards the right. And let's hope I don't fall down. So that's one. And then another jump down. And then here. So. Whoa, that was a big jump. Shouldn't have done that. Anyway, let's just get these guys out of the way first. That's the power of the Nox flowing hammer. Anyway, this is where our treasure lies. And this is it for this one. Oh, look at that. I got a nice sword as well. This is it for this one. Um, you guys can check it out and see um, what this these ashes do. They're pretty good. Just upgrade them. And this guy's already got a big health pool, I think. So if you upgrade him, he's going to be really difficult to take down. Anyway, this is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helps you guys as well. Until next time, happy gaming, take care, and bye-bye.